Here are a few more practice questions for you to understand how to isolate variables. Question is, rearrange each of the following equation and solve for y. A, 2x minus 3y plus 4 equals to 0 and B is x minus 3y plus 9 equals to 0. Now when we say solve for y, it is same as isolating the variable y. Both means same thing. Now, to solve for y, we do not need 2x on and 4 on the left side, so we'll take them on the right side. So one way to do that is, in the equation, we can subtract 2x and minus 4, both sides. That means from 0, we can do minus 2x minus 4, right? So that is the step which we are doing. If I do that, then what do we get? We get minus 3y on the left side equals to minus 2x minus 4, correct? For some of you who prefer to understand in the fashion as if we are taking these terms to the other side means taking 4 to the other side means negative of this number minus 4 and taking 2x to the other side means minus 2x. If we do that, we can get the same thing. Minus 3y equals to minus 2x minus 4. So either way you could do. Now once we have done this, we have minus 3 times y equals to something, right? So what is y equals to? For that, we need to divide both sides by minus 3. So if we divide, we get y equals to minus 2x minus 4 divided by minus 3. Now let's understand this part. When we say minus 2x minus 4 divided by minus 3, then minus 3 is dividing into both the terms. Uh, look at it like this. Minus 2x divided by minus 3. And then we have minus, and I'm writing 4 on top, divided by minus 3. Now minus times minus or minus divided by minus is positive. So we get x over 3 here. And here minus times minus makes it plus. So you get plus 4 over 3. So that is how we can isolate. So y is equal to, so we can write y equals to x over 3 plus 4 over 3. So that's one way of doing this. With the help of next example, I will show you an alternate way. So here what we are going to do is, we have minus 3y. Now there was some complication, dividing by a negative number and doing all this, right? So what we can do is, since we have to isolate y, we can actually take this term on the right side. If we do that, what do we get? We get x plus 9 equals to 3y. Do you see that? This is much simpler. So you are at liberty to either take all other terms or the y term itself. So I'll prefer this method, especially when we have a negative coefficient for the variable of our interest, right? So we get x plus 9 equals to 3y, right? Now we can divide by 3 on both the sides. So if I divide every term by 3, it becomes x divided by 3 plus 9 divided by 3 equals to 3y divided by 3. So we have divided every term by 3, right? So what do we get? We get one third of x plus 9 divided by 3 is 3 equals to y. Do you see that? So we can write down that y equals to one third of x plus 3. So that's an alternate way of solving this. I hope you like these steps. Thank you and all the best.